Hi, I'm Sonali Shah. You may have seen me presenting on Newsround, Match of the Day Kickabout and for BBC Sport. I've been all around the world covering different sporting events like the Beijing Olympics, the Delhi Commonwealth Games and the Cricket World Cup. Back here in the UK, I've been very busy too with stuff like Wimbledon, the Epsom Derby and the London Marathon. Here are my sport reporting tips. I'm at mile 23 on the course, Old Billingsgate in the heart of the city of London. Welcome to a fairly full but, got to say, not totally packed stage. And the crowd here is absolutely loving this. I think the most important thing is do your homework, do your preparation, and it can be done in three bits. First of all, read up about the athlete, the participant, the competitor. Then you've got to read up about the sport. So when I went to the Cricket World Cup, I did my research on how all the teams did not only in one day cricket, but test cricket too, just so that you've got a good rounded picture. And then the third thing is you've got to read up about the event. So with the Cricket World Cup, I reminded myself how well everyone did at the previous Cricket World Cup four years ago. Now you don't have to know everything, but make little notes on cards about interesting facts and then you'll be well prepared. Know your audience, know who's going to be watching your report. So if it's going to be your local football club, you don't need to explain the rules to them, they already know them. But if it's like for your grandma's coffee club and they're not that into their sport, you might have to go into a few more details. And also be fair with your reporting. Just because I'm an Arsenal fan, it doesn't mean that when I go up to Old Trafford, I'm not fair with my reporting. If Manchester United have played a great game, I'm going to say it, even though in my head I might not want to say it, I'm going to say it because I have to be fair. Think about how you're going to tell your story. So you need to pick out the best bits of action, but you want other bits too, like you might want to speak to the players or the parents of the players. Speak to that dad that always shouts on the sidelines at a football match on Saturday. Try and speak to the ref. Also think about where your report's going to be. So if you're doing it for radio or a web piece, then you might have to be a bit more descriptive because people aren't seeing what you're seeing. And one of the things I really like to do is behind the scenes stuff. The Olympic Park is so huge that you've got to get on one of these golf buggies to get around. I think people want to know stuff around the action as well. Ladies' Day is also known as the Peacock Parade and this is where that parade begins. All sport reporting isn't just about the sport that you're covering. When I was at the Epsom Derby, my main role was to talk to people about what they were wearing because going to the races also means dressing up for the day. But you don't even need to be at the event itself. Before the Beijing Games, I got this swimsuit that athletes were wearing and went and did a report about whether it really makes you swim faster just down my local pool. I didn't speak to any athletes, I didn't even see the action. 25.78, so that's what, about four seconds faster. So you really can find a story anywhere. If you are at an event, there's lots of other things going on too. When I was in Delhi, I went with all the athletes to the Taj Mahal and we went and had a fun day out. So you don't always need to be talking about the action. There's so much going on. The hard part will be figuring out what to talk about awarded to the city of London. We've done it! London, it! London 2012 isn't just about having a ticket to one of the venues. It's about stuff going on up and down the country. The torch relay could be coming through your city. There could be a training camp just down the road from you. Your school might be putting up a big screen. When it comes to the Olympics and the Paralympics, my advice is report on whatever 2012 means to you.